Digital Health Global Goods are adaptable software and services that address health system challenges. What makes a software a strong global good? Use in multiple countries to address multiple health system challenges with funding from multiple sources. Support from active communities that provide help when needed. Attention to privacy and security best practices. Free and open source licensing with publicly available code and documentation to support affordable customization. All making it easy to deploy at scale. Global goods are used to cut down on unnecessary spending and provide sustainable software solutions for countries, thereby saving more lives and improving the health of humans all over the world. The WHO classification framework in the Digital Implementation Investment Guide has identified 39 potential health system challenges and over 80 specific ways that digital tools can improve health services. These interventions are parceled in a variety of digital health global goods. Each video in this series will highlight a specific global good. This video will feature IRIS, developed by IntraHealth International. The primary users for IRIS are decision makers, overseeing human resources across the health system. Governments need current, accurate data on their existing health workforce to address human resource challenges. Unfortunately, personnel records for health workers in many countries are still stuck in paper-based filing systems or in systems that are not interoperable with each other. Dr. Hassan is a workforce management specialist tasked with ensuring that the health system is adequately staffed with health workers with the appropriate skills, training and licensing to meet the population's healthcare needs but he struggles with his existing system to quickly locate employee records or aggregate health workforce data for analysis that would drive his decision-making. IRIS is an open source human resources platform that helps track and manage a country's health workforce to help users make evidence-based effective plans for deploying human resources where they're needed most. Its user-friendly interface and powerful data dashboards help decision-makers see and understand the current status of their health workforce by accessing data such as which healthcare workers are currently employed, who are qualified but not employed, and who are in training. Once established, decision-makers, such as those within ministries of health, professional health councils, training institutions and similar organisations, can use the data centralised in IRIS as well as data from other interoperable software to predict specific population needs and make informed decisions to proactively solve workforce constraints. IntraHealth developed IRIS in 2005 in collaboration with national stakeholders around the world. Since then, ministries, local governments, health professional councils private facilities and health training institutions in more than 30 countries have used it to track and manage their health workforce data and to improve access to health services. IT divisions can set up, customise and maintain IRIS for their ministries to start centralising their health workforce data. Human resources managers add new health worker records into the system which can be customised to store information on salary level, role, qualifications and other data about health workers. With this basic data in IRIS, supervisors can view individual records to better understand their team's existing skills and identify gaps or training needs. IRIS can also be configured to import data from other systems, such as those that track timesheets and attendance, to pinpoint areas for performance improvement. With health worker data in the system, planners can then customise how they want IRIS to display aggregate data visualisations, such as turnover, skills mix or distribution across their district, region or country. These data analytics help to reveal gaps in distribution and highlight needs for new positions or transfers to nearby facilities. 
Permissions can also be set for users at different levels of the health system to ensure they can only see records from their jurisdiction. IRIS can also track and manage health worker training activities, including in-service continuing education across multiple training institutions or pre-service education needs based on attrition and retirement. IRIS is also used by medical boards and nursing councils to license and regulate the professional workforce across the public and private sectors. With the data stored in IRIS, councils can identify which licenses are set to expire and notify health workers they are due to renew. IRIS is interoperable and adheres to global standards such as FHIR, allowing it to be added to existing architectures and enabling easy data exchange with other global goods throughout its stages of use. The biggest health challenge in Akuru County is management of human resource for health and this impact on recruitment, planning for retirement and staffing and also promotion and training of staff in the county. The mission of IRIS is to computerize human resources for health data in our county and throughout the country. IRIS is a very good innovation to help the country in management of human resources for health and the management is able to access accurate and up-to-date human resource information in real time for decision making. One of the areas where we have benefited or we have benefited from IRIS is planning for the purposes of salary. Uh, we normally plan for the whole year salaries yeah, for all our staff in the county and IRIS has been coming in handy when it comes to establishing the number of staff that we have in the county. Uh, the other one is timely evidence-based recruitment uh, in which you, using IRIS you are able to establish and know where we have gaps in terms of human resource yeah? and through that we are able to do recruitment that is timely and it is evidence-based. The other area that IRIS has helped us to address is in terms of distribution of staff, yeah? in terms of their age. Yeah? We are able to tell whether we are having very young or very old staff in our county and also the gender distribution which is a legal requirement that we don't employ staff of one gender. With IRIS established in his country, Dr. Hassan can use the real-time analytics in the dashboards to understand which facilities have enough staff available with the right skills to meet the population's healthcare needs. Having the health workforce data centralised with IRIS informs decision-making and prepares health workers in his community and beyond to address existing and emerging challenges. To learn more about IRIS, visit www.iris.org. To learn more about other digital health global goods, visit Digital Square and read through the Global Goods Guidebook. Join the community and see how you can leverage global goods for your work.